I think we'll start with the uh, with your presentation or your side of the of of what you are working on with um, sound art, and then maybe somebody else will join in. Okay, excellent. Yeah. So. Uh... So uh, I think because uh, because I'm uh, because I'm quite uh, you know like I live now for quite a while, so there are quite a lot of things to talk about. But I what I um, what I was thinking about for a short presentation is to uh, in such a format uh, like this. Mm -hmm. uh, I was thinking maybe to sort of like uh, do a, a first part and then maybe later I can do extend it with the second part that is more visual. So this time yeah. I was thinking about doing just uh, just presentation with the sound related. Uh, yes, no problem. Uh, which I will uh, take from my, uh, my uh, sound cloud and uh, okay. And work with it. Uh, so yeah. So I'm uh, first of all. Uh, my name is Ram Samocha. Uh, I'm originally from Israel. I um, lived uh, for quite a while in Canada. Did my master there, and since 2011, I'm here in Brighton, UK, uh, where I'm based. Um, I'm. I'm an artist. Uh, lately, it's called multidisciplinary because I'm working quite with quite a lot of things. I started with uh, painting and sculpture, but I always uh, found myself uh, combining things together. So I, I can say I'm in between artists, uh, in between things. And um, but specifically here, because we are talking about the component of sound uh, relating to work and art, uh, um, my, uh, my my link and my my experience and my uh, uh, with this subject is that uh, I started I started to do uh, live. Uh, performances to extend my, my practice from a, from painting sculpture installation and drawing in 2004 I started to do uh, live uh, performances live drawing performances and um, but the, the component of sound was was not started there it was it started I think uh, in my own studio as everybody you know like we we're producing sounds we are yeah. we are human and we are we are moving bodies that creating sounds all the time and the the thing is if you are focused on it or if you are aware of it and if you are doing something with it so um so usually in the past uh, i was uh, in my studio or i'm also now like when i'm in the studio and not performing doing the studio part is uh, I, I will always have uh, some kind of noise uh, if it's uh, music if it's uh, something else uh, usually it will be music and not news uh, and and um, more more meditative music i guess uh, in a way it depends but uh, but sometimes it's funny because also like when you are producing sounds by yourself to hear the the, the music sound it's quite uh, interesting now now i'm i'm using drill in for for example in my in my studio so like having uh, having a music uh, at the background and using the drill it's it's also something that is quite interesting but uh, we'll talk about it later maybe uh, so um so what what I what I meant to say that uh, music is there, sound is there, but uh, the I think the the moment I realized uh, that the the things that I'm doing relating to sound was uh, around 2013 when I shared the studio in London with the other performance artists, oh, okay. and uh, the, everybody has his own desk. And uh, mm -hmm. and I was working on my drawing on my desk, and uh, mm -hmm. and, uh, and an artist uh, near me, uh, he didn't 
she didn't see what I'm doing. And at one point, uh, she and I was drawing. And at one point, she turned her head off uh, towards me, and and then she said, "Oh, you are drawing." I was. I thought you were listening to techno music. Oh, okay. And that like, made me think, you know, like it may, it just focused me that the sound that I'm producing while I'm drawing, relating like it's something that has has uh, his his own way, his own uh, component, uh, and uh, I can use it in mm -hmm. a way. And that's. Uh, and that uh, led me to uh, to to focus uh, on using uh, this this thing of uh, sound in while I'm drawing live. Yeah. But uh, saying that, I just remember that uh, before I came to London and uh, before that, I was using quite a lot uh, sound also in my. Uh, in my past performances, but mm -hmm. not really uh, understanding the maybe the importance of taking it and do something with it. So I'll give just a few samples here, and and it's there in my sound uh, clown. So so of course I I, I was aware of uh, me producing uh, those sounds, but uh, so for example in uh, I'm going over here, and in uh, 2007, uh, so I had a I had a performance in Canada, uh, in Hamilton, mm -hmm. and it was a Valentine Day, and my my action, my drawing action was drawing on uh, on a window with a, a marker, and yeah. one of the things that uh, I was uh, playing with was the sound of the marker on uh, on. Um, on the glass, on the window, yeah, yeah. it's quite a, 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 a squinky um, sw sound. Yeah. So yeah. here it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. So I was drawing hearts and arrows, and that's the sound it produced. That's the heart. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> to, to get um, those sounds, did you had to do some processing or is it just really the raw sound of uh, you drawing? Uh, it's the raw sound, but I was uh, aware that it will produce this yeah. sound. I was just like thinking about yeah. working with marker because marker and which strength should I put in order yeah. to uh, to uh, to to have this effect of yeah. uh, the squinky effect and playing yeah. with it. And uh, so yeah, you were were you um, thinking more as a composer? Uh, than a, um, like a, 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 a drawing artist. Yeah, well, I never, I, like, I never studied the uh, performance art, and I never studied uh, anything that relate to music. So, the, the the word composing is, yeah, it's it's not in my vocabulary. I'm just like really very uh, intuitive to sound. And, yes. Uh, and and but uh, yeah, but being aware to what you can mm. do with it. Yeah, the, the the reason why I asked um, you were taking it as a composer was it's not like um, truly um, uh, thinking as a skilled uh, composer, like um, really thinking of, okay, I want this type of notes, but more like thinking uh, as a composer in I'm, I'm drawing, but I'm not really paying attention on what I'm drawing. I'm really paying attention on how can I structure these different squeaky sounds is yeah. it more this way that you're thinking than oh no i want to draw this and the sound that um of that uh, i capture of this drawing that's the that's uh, the 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 soundscape but the focus is still the drawing that's yeah. actually the question what's the focus was the focus the i think i think yeah i understand the question uh it's it's both 
so so I was aware of uh, how the drawing uh, progress, but uh, mm -hmm. but still I was thinking about uh, uh, when I'm doing a small heart shape, what the sound will be, and when I'm doing large gestures, what mm -hmm. the sound will be, or if somebody opened the door, I was just like drawing faster because it will be like more sound, and he will be caught in the sound. Yeah. Yeah, when he's entering the, you know, and and listening to that performance, uh, but uh, I'll give two more examples of that. Uh, the same period, uh, one is uh, performing for the camera, and this uh, drawing with the uh, uh, color uh, co uh, color uh, pencils on a mm. canvas, and I titled it "Fireworks" because it's the the working on the canvas it's like you lightning uh, yeah yeah so this is firework from 2010 <laughs> One is uh, this one uh, working with a, a masking tape. So I'm taking off the masking tape every time, and it also created uh, an interesting sound. Thing. <laughs> I can hear it. It's quite noisy because it was live. And the last one is working with a chalk, a large chalk on the wall. And on the wall, okay. On the wall, yeah, on a, on a dry wall. And uh, it produced quite a, a strong sound like this. <laughs> Very much like reverb in the room. Yeah, so it's really cool. Yeah, thanks. So, uh, so that that's about it uh, in terms of the the the, the past one and uh, to make it shorter uh, so uh, as I said in, uh, since coming to England I was focusing more about uh, working with the sound and uh, and there were few collaborations that I did uh, uh, regarding working with the sound live so the first one was uh, with the uh, with uh, I, well, I'm, I'm I, I am a I am the creator of a, a company that called Draw to Perform, which is a company that gives stage to drawing performance and great festivals and activities around uh, drawing and performance. So uh, one of the things are making festivals about uh, uh, subject that relate to drawing and performance. One of them was uh, around movement, and one of them was around sound. Actually, in 2018, about uh, the one that was about movement, I collaborated with the uh, Paul Hartnell from uh, uh, the band Orbital. Yeah. And, uh, he he uh, uh, it it actually came from the the this thing where uh, we talked and and he and uh, he said that he can create. Uh, uh, music or a uh, sound from anything uh, so then I said well yeah well I'm producing sounds let's do something about it so what he was doing he was recording my sounds uh, live at uh, the performance uh, he was sampling it and he was creating kind of a live soundtrack which uh, which I was working on it so I was working on my own sound yeah and that was in, I think, 2017. But I, I actually don't see it here for some reason. Oh, well, I can't see it here, and on, on, it's on YouTube. Uh, but uh, um, 
I'll I'll uh, show uh, another one that was uh, relating, and it was a year after uh, I collaborated with a musician that asked me to do something together, uh, Mark Brown, and I think I mentioned it uh, last time. And uh, what he he's a he's a saxophone player, and he's mm -hmm. and he's um he's working with improvisation. So when he approached me, uh, I was thinking about how to collaborate my activity with his. And I was thinking I had uh, this idea of uh, something relating to my uh, to memories. When mm -hmm. you are when you are uh, when I was a child, I my mother uh, told me to get stuff like pots and pens from the cupboard. And then when I open it and when you're searching for something, the pots and the pen, the pants and the and the the metal thing create a lot of uh, sound that drove my mother crazy, and uh, and that's what I, and 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 me I really really like this thing of working with this this. Yeah. So I uh, I what uh, the collaboration was me drawing uh, with metal with the pe uh, pots and the pens and. Uh, mm -hmm. He uh, improvised uh, on the sound that I'm uh, making, and I'm creating a drawing with uh, those those weird tool. So it's okay, not cool. like this. Uh, it's just a sample. That's me banging, and he was working with some kind of yeah tool. This song is with the garlic rhino, uh, the one that's. Oh no, this is a, this is a coffee filter. Ah, uh, yeah. Later. Okay, okay, cool. <laughs> Yeah, so this is just a quick example. And the last thing uh, that I would like to mention is uh, me starting to work with uh, a looper. Uh, so uh, working myself with sound, this is the last uh, thing that I did uh, just in uh, in March uh, before the lockdown. The whole coronavirus. So I was working with the powder and I was working with the looper. And my hands. That's a cool, like, it's like a kick drum. Uh, it's really cool. Yeah, uh, that's about it, I think. That's cool. Quite a that's lot really of cool. information, but uh, yeah, summarize the sound in a way. <laughs>